Folks, we're at the last spot for the day. You may not see it, but Mike ventured off that way. The furthest spot, he went on his own. The snow is way, way too high. I am currently in three feet of snow. We must salute Mike. You know, not all heroes wear capes. Not all villains are bad. Yes, he is lighter on his feet than I am, but he is heavier in my heart. I am losing significant amount of calories. What is happening? Holy son of a gun, that's a big one. What's up folks? Welcome back to an episode here at G, G outdoors. outdoors. As you can see, look at this. Folks, we're outdoors. We're outdoors, middle of winter. Middle of winter, guys. Hold the <laughs> Oh yeah, but it won't stop us. The quad can't even make it in because it snows so deep. Today's a special day because we're checking all of our trail cameras to see what deer survived this hunting season. What deer can we look forward to next year? How is your season going so far? Let us know down below. Are you guys still have cameras out? It was minus 40 here a couple weeks ago. Celsius. So, we're pretty sure all the cams are going to die. We're going to see if there's going to be a couple that are still up and running. Fingers crossed and hopefully we get some pictures bugs. of bucks because that's the whole point of all this is to see what survived. Right after our season, we actually checked one camera, a spot we call intersection, which we couldn't hunt this year. Damn beavers flooded the area, but we had some bucks late, late season. So technically we do have some survivors, but yeah, no, we are pumped. Folks, so we pumped. got 16 cameras, I think, to check. So uh, we just got to find videos. where we put them because we put them <laughs> off trail. So Marco's brain is going to find it because I'll be honest, I don't even remember where we put them. <laughs> All right, folks. Stay uh, tuned. Battery's up, eh? It's still on? Oh, yeah. 204 pictures, mid-February, and the battery stayed alive. All right, folks, we've been out here for three days right now. <laughs> it's It's been rough, folks. If you're not on a deer trail right now here in these Quebec uh, winters here, like, I'm just gonna do a little point here. Okay, there we go. Every single step, you're going down about, ooh, Mike could zoom in into that hole after. That's about what you're walking into. It's hard to see because it's dark, but like... That's about two feet. You gotta try to stick to deer trails. That's why our deer always hurt up, because who wants to walk? In three feet of snow every time so they'll hurt up they'll use the same trails every single day some of our cameras have been on trails good cams with some pics so you guys gotta stay tuned oh look at it the, the skidoos are are right where the deer are where the deer is Look, they're, they're stuck. Yeah, yeah. I have, I got them off footage. Look, oh, it's a fawn though. Well, there's some useless energy spent. All right, guys, we're walking up to one of the spots that we put on trails and uh, we seemed like we have a party that went on over here. And right in the back there, I don't know if you could see behind the tree with the rock, there's our camera, but it's not facing this way. Hopefully we got some action. But I can see your bed here, your bed there. So this is really recent because we had snow in the night. So this was overnight in the last couple hours. And it uh, seems like there was a dance party going on here. Oh, dude, you walked right in front of it. And I walked in front of the cam. Hopefully it got me. That is awesome. Let's find out what's on the camera. We're near strip two where my dad shot a uh, splitter. If you didn't see that video, We'll put it up top, check it out. Huge public land monster. But here we are, we're going to pick up our cams and we have one, two, three, four, five beds over here. We have bed, 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 bed. There's actually another one there, another one behind the tree and another one there. But look at this track, this is a decent track there. It's a, and it's, it's definitely an adult that was here, but uh, we did see some uh, just not too far from here, 50, 60 yards, giant track. So, you know, it, it gets us uh, tingling a bit because we know we could possibly find those sheds. We're, uh, we're, we're excited to say the least. It's exciting to be in your area and see that deer stayed and uh, there's still a couple of deer left. Very good sign, you know? Let's go find those other cameras. Big chocolate. Huge chocolate bottle. No rack though, I shot the head really good. It's still up ahead, but it's a Oh, yeah, it looks it's sinking in the snow. It's walking slowly. Let's give her some time. That's a big chocolate, dude. It's right there. Dude, it's, that's a big one. Good girl. Good boy. Whatever you are. 
stick around. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's still walking, it's just yeah, eating. Yeah. I got out of it. For real? Yeah. They're looking at us. There was one on the right, which I don't see it no more. It's behind this giant tree, but they're definitely looking at us. But they're not chocolate like the one we saw before. These are brown, like light brown. I'll try if ever to get close to see their face. So after you could see if there's a uh, headgear. I don't think so. The best part of this is our salt block is right there. It's right there. So we're at Lucky 7. Just want to show you how crazy the snow is. But this year we changed our salts at the end of the season. We brought them higher. And as you can see, it's, th it's sticking out of the snow right there. So it's ready for early season. But what I want to show you, look at this. Look at our camera. Look how high the snow is. It's ridiculous. You got a fine fellow up there just taking, you know, just looking around because we just saw a couple deer enjoying nature at its best and then you have our cameras here on the cell link but the deer are just a couple 80 90 yards behind us but let's get to the camera this is ridiculous because you can literally put my fingers like this so we have like six to eight inches let's see what it caught or the pine clip the pine clip got stepped on big bucks guys Big ones. And look at the camera. I hope we got him. There's two trails that here up. And the trees are eating in there. Hey folks, yeah, as you can see, we got a trail up here, up a trail here. Why? Because there's pines. Late season, if you guys want to shed a little tip for you, if you, if you shed hunting in a lot of snow, find yourself pines. The amount of easy access trails, highways we found in pines. This is not from us, guys. This is all deer, look at that. Everywhere, as far as you can see. I would find yourself some pines. One of our best shed hunting tips that we could give to you. The more that we've shed hunted, we realize we find a lot more sheds under pines, especially in our Quebec woods. You know, this and is cedars. Uh, this is why cedars, pine, yeah. Any and of you, that green bushy stuff. Yeah, if you got green in winter, you go green, sheds. <sighs> it doesn't rhyme. But yeah, a little quick tip for you. We're about to grab one of our last cameras and then we're gonna meet you guys back at the house unless we see something crazy. You guys gotta stay tuned. Well, as you can see, we're back indoors. Nighttime, folks, we checked all the pictures. Thousands of them, all right? Literally thousands. So we have a lot of deer, which is a good sign. Very um, good. Not the biggest of deer, but hopefully next year they'll all be All bigger. under two and a half years old. But you know what? We still got some bucks to look forward to next year. A crap ton of trails. You know what? Before we talk about deer, we got to talk about this fox. We want you to guys write down below what does this fox have in his mouth? Because oh, it's yeah. blurry. I don't, we don't know. We can't figure it out. Is but it a it's... raccoon, a crow? Is it part of a turkey? What do you guys think it is? Write it right now. Stop, pause the video, go write it down below. We got to know what is that animal. It's yeah. definitely something. That's now. pretty cool. We got some nice pictures of that fox, actually. Beautiful A lot of pictures. fox around the area. I don't know if it's the same fox, but a lot of foxes in this it's, area. In the last couple of years, we never had a lot of uh, foxes. And in the last two years, we noticed a lot of rabbits on the cameras. All of a sudden, we had a lot of rabbits. So, which probably explains the, the foxes coming by. But a uh, lot foxes of... Foxes aren't the only dog we had. We had no. a crap ton of coyotes. Oh, man. It's some big boys, too. Yeah, some you nice guys, ones. You guys don't understand. This is not good for us. <laughs> but now... On to the deer... You know, it's, I don't know, should I save the best for last, but... We have a little treat for you. Yeah, we'll save that one for the end. We'll save so, it for the end. We saw something cool on the camera. It's only been 10 years, guys, I'm trying to get this on camera <laughs> with Marco, but you got to stay tuned for that one. You stay right till the very end. So for the big buck, the biggest buck that we had, was Came probably this one seven, time. Yeah, this like seven, we don't even know, seven or eight pointer. Yeah, because he's facing little, away. Little, little points at the tip, but next year he's going to be... Definitely bigger. We also had another, what was it, like a six-pointer? Yeah, he's a, he's, a, he's a six with a broken uh, brow from what it looks like. Yeah, he's another good size. Yeah, that's that's definitely our shooter of next year. <laughs> yeah, oh, That's the biggest buck. Yeah. That After we... the spike I took this year. If I see anything bigger, yeah. it's probably going down. We got a nice four. Nice four. Nice, nice four, four which he's going to be a shooter for us next year. At least a six and eight, he's probably next year. Happy with that. We have that one-time spiker that came. He's we even some him. bigger sixes. We got some got sixes, sixes coming in. 
uh, you know, it's it's pretty good. We've we got, you know, one of a kind, and I don't know if you guys ever seen this, but we got a deer that's tagged. It's a fawn, yeah. and it has a tag on his ear. We got two pictures of this deer on all our cameras. Both the same day. Both the same day. 50 minutes apart. 100% it's a fawn, and so it's telling us from June to mid February, end of February, yeah. this deer got tagged. But by who? We have no idea. <laughs> I don't know if our government is doing some some sort of research or what. Have or you guys seen tag deer on your cams? Let us know down below. We gotta uh, know because sure. this is some weird stuff. We've never seen that on our trail cameras ever. Yeah. Literally. So we're really, really wondering like what's going on. But for the pièce de résistance, something Mike has been pleading to find on trail cams one day. I think I screamed when I saw it. <laughs> yeah. I shot Mark. I don't know if I punched him in the ribs. <laughs> I did something. I just like ah! But. Yes, so we got a one horn buck. Freshly shed buck. And you, this, it can't be more fresh than this. It's what we've been leaving our cameras out there all these years, late in the season, not only to see who survived, but in hopes to get a deer that's missing his antlers. But better than that, we got him again with both shed antlers at a Falling different off. spot. Once what? the snow melts, we're going to be out there shed hunting for those two sides. We got to, I hope. We got to end this story. Oh, we got to end the story. The, the first buck. Missing his sheds on trail camera early too. He dropped them uh, January 10th. January 10th is when he dropped it. And then it's madness. We had him on, I think, January 12th or 13th and both sides raw. A couple days later at a whole different spot. How far did he drop them? Maybe he dropped them a couple hours later. Just never went on a camera before then. I don't know. Well, but yeah, folks, that's what we had on our cameras. Let us know down below. Do you guys still have your cameras out? Have you recently checked them? What have your hit list bucks survived the season? Let us know down in the comments. We're going to be probably shed hunting soon, doing we'll some be. other videos indoors. Still a lot of snow, so we're going to let definitely let that go down a bit. But uh, yeah, I'm excited for shed hunting now. Now, knowing that some bucks shed in our area, oh, ho, ho, ho. this is uh... not like Donkey Kong. <laughs> but yeah, folks, thanks so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. We'll catch you guys in the next one. And if you didn't hit that like and subscribe, do it now. Down below. We want to keep doing this. Just, you got to support us. <laughs> we'll be back soon. See you in the next video.